Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here and I'm bringing you guys a game of Exo Zombies. And this is like my third attempt at playing the game. Uh, I have not uh, had a full uh, run of this. I didn't even get to play it for an hour. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys kind of my first initial thoughts on the new zombies from this uh, this game, Advanced Warfare and the Exo Zombies and stuff. And if you guys are newer to my channel, most of you guys are are just older folks that remember a lot of the zombie videos and whatnot that I've done. Uh, so I definitely was like, dude, is this really like the OG zombies? And it's kind of like a revamped version. And I got to say, like, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with what we have. Um, at first, it took me a little bit to get used to. But as I was uh, playing through for like the second and third time, I was like, dude, it feels just like zombies. There's a couple different things that they've changed to make it a little bit um, a little bit, I guess, newer, which I think is awesome. One of those things, uh, is that there's no barriers that you can, that you can build back up. I think that was just a smart thing to take away, uh, because at, at some point it just become, came kind of mundane to trying to get the barriers up. The only reason why it was so dope in regular zombies is because, and there I'm just slide, um, slashing these guys because I was like, holy crap, I can slide, and then I, I don't know what I was doing, just digging around, but, um... But yeah, basically it's like this. Like this is seriously fun. Like, and I want to play it as much as I can. I definitely need to know more about it. So, just as a step back, this is um, a perspective from somebody that hasn't watched or seen anything. I saw other than the original trailer, the the first trailer. That was the only thing I saw on this thing. I don't know how many players. If it's four player or what, I assume so because obviously it's four characters. Um, and I don't know about the Easter eggs. I've heard um, on Twitter somebody's asked, said that they they need help with an Easter egg or something. But I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. But so I'm like really from this gameplay and from this commentary, I'm just really starting from the beginning. So if you guys are people that are used to zombies and um, are wondering about this and how similar it is, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys that sort of information. Um, it really is similar to all of the other zombies. This is not, this is the best attempt to zombies. The zombies look the same, they move the same. It is definitely more an advanced game as you get into higher rounds and different rounds. Uh, they, the zomb there's like a whole, whole bunch of different types of zombies. You pay for the doors and you figure out where to go and you buy the guns off the wall. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's very, very similar. Um, and some of the stuff that I like is that it's kind of more objective based um, from the beginning of trying to power on certain areas and power on the exosuit and get an exosuit right here. I was decontaminating and wasting the money for absolutely no reason because I didn't know what it did. Um, and you'll find out later in this gameplay is what happens. And I'll tell you right now, um, you can become infected when you get hit from certain zombies. When they're green, they infect you. When you get infected... You have to go decontaminate, and I don't know um, what's the result if you don't. I'm assuming you just probably end up dying. Uh, but uh, and right here is another example. You get drops just like the uh, the other um, zombies, and you can train them a little bit. I, so far, actually, I can't really say that because you can um, dodge them and go in your circles and stuff pretty easily, just the same as the other zombies. You can see I'm just running around them, uh, training them together and stuff. I haven't successfully been able to do. But, uh, but half of it is because I don't know what the hell I'm doing and the lack of the map knowledge and, and everything. And this game is the very first game where I ended up opening doors. Um, so, like, I was really, like, not sure was what the hell was going on. The first the first game I was just like, oh, I'm going to wait in here and just save up as much as I can. And then the reason why I died is because I paused the game and <laughs> and then tried to change my, my gun setting or my, uh, my setting so... I have it to tactical because I like to use tactical, um, uh, like when I play zombies especially, and and it wasn't set to tactical. So as I was selecting, I got killed because you can't pause it. Like you can pause it, but it doesn't pause it. It just goes to the, to the screen. So uh, just a note there. One, a couple of things that I like about this. So one, I like that they tried to stay as true to the original zombies theme as they could. I think that's amazing. Uh, and as a result, this is going to have a lot of replay value for a lot of people. Um, two, and then this thing I didn't understand. The, those terminals sometimes just turn green and you can just get 100 credits from them, basically. Um, another thing that I think is is a, an ultra positive is the drops and stuff. And, uh, and again, just kind of the formula, uh, same uh, as zombies. And then there's also some added things, and you'll see that in a couple rounds where, um, or right here, this is the round, where you get a, a drop. 
and they actually give you a drop um, and in this case it ends up being a turret and then there's other ones where it's basically like the meat remember where you had the meat you threw it and then the zombies or the, like the little flies in the previous zombies and the zombies wouldn't see you basically um, or like this is like insta kill for for this but yeah but but for the drops there's a whole bunch of different things and one of them is so you can go kind of camouflaged um, but I uh, love the fact that there's insta kill back and uh, and God, there was one other big, big important one that I wanted to say, and I can't remember. I'll have to get to it in just a second. There's a DNA bomb, which is like a nuke, basically kills all the zombies on the screen, not just the ones near you. And then you capture these things, and then you can drop them down, as you can see on the lower right hand side. I have a turret now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I ended up. Um, I don't know what I ended up doing here. So this, that's a power right there, and I didn't realize that this is a power box. I was like, oh, that's helpful. Then you have these little dogs. They're not devil dogs, but uh, they're just as deadly. And the second time that I played through, uh, I actually died on these guys. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I died on them. Um, actually, no, that was the same exact time, I think, because I ended up uh, dying when I was trying to pause to change it. But anyway, oh, but what I'm trying to get at, I'm, I'm tired right now. I'm just trying to get this game. I'm trying to get this gameplay up for you guys, actually, which is funny because I don't post gameplays. But seeing the zombies got me excited, dudes, and I wanted to get something up for you guys to to give you some sort of substance. Okay, so I remember now what I was going to say. It feels like, um, and there, this is an exomedic, and this, unlock when you unlock that, that gives you um, quick revive, basically. So I like that there's, like, the perkish sort of things in here. And in some sort of sense, like, the, the exosuit is, I don't know if it's, like, a juggernaut. Juggernaut or whatever thing or not. I don't know if there's anything like that. I'll have to find out more as I play. Um, but what I was going to say is, is it's fundamentally it's easier to play this than the other zombies. If you came into zombies and you never played them before and then you're trying to do uh, some of the random zombie maps that, that were evolving, it, like, it, it was just ridiculous. So, so many steps, so many Easter eggs, so many buildable parts in order to be able to do certain things. Like, it, it became unfun. Um, it just and it was fun trying to figure out where to build the stuff, and it was fun making videos to tell people where to build them. But it was it became just like a pain in the ass to actually um, to play it. And and I had a lot of hours vested in from all the previous zombie maps. This is something that I think that you guys are gonna love because um, you can come in, and I have six thousand points. Like I have tons of points to run around and do whatever with to buy guns. You can pack a punch them or upgrade them immediately, like in in one of the other rooms. I think in, down in the, this room to the left, there's a upgrade slot, but you can upgrade them and like and uh, and then get the exo suit and like get everything, all the rooms unlocked by like I don't know by probably this round even. Um, and so I think that's something that's kind of cool. You don't have to p pinch your pennies and conserve your ammo and try to get collaterals as much because you end up with a lot of points. And right here, I end up throwing down a turret, not knowing really how it worked. And if they get too close to it, they ended up um, um, getting hurt but or they, they end up hurting it but right here I was like oh, I'm gonna capture this camo this is my mistake right here though because I thought I captured this camo and I thought that I was invincible uh, and then I threw a grenade and then blew myself up seriously but I thought I was invincible but I didn't realize that this was a um, one of those ones you can see on the lower right hand side that I have to select it and once I select it then I become invincible it's not auto selected so it was one of those things I had to figure out as I was playing through um, I don't. I actually didn't check. You have to check and see if the grenades refill the same as the previous ones, and and so on. Uh, but you can see right here, just like a little mini training sort of ground. This is an easy area to stay in to to really like get to this level. You don't really have to run around till uh, till this level or, or even further out. But eventually, you're gonna want to get your exosuit. It's kind of fun to be able to jump around with that. Um, but that's the other thing that I think is really cool is you get a freaking exosuit, dude. And you can jump and do the double jump stuff that the exosuits do, uh, which is super rad. And there's just lots of, like, cool things um, that, that I feel like that you have in this game that's true to the original, but it is, like, a really a polished, updated version. And I don't know how... Um, I don't know how they, they were able to pull it off so successfully, but I have to say I'm, I'm very, very impressed. Will it have the replay as all of the other ones? I'm not sure. Um, but the fact that you can't pause it makes a huge problem because the other zombies I would play for hours and hours on end and you know you know what working in um, we're playing in the environment that I'm in with my wife around and dogs and I have to feed and other random things I have to do like I, I don't have the luxury of just like running away and uh, and 
and or I mean I don't have the luxury of just staying and playing the entire time. I do need to be able to go away and uh, and and do things. And the pack a punch was back there. I just passed it. But and then here I am de decontaminated again, thinking like um, it's gonna do something. It was like only 250 points though, so I was like, oh, I guess it's not that much. Might as well waste it. But I didn't realize later uh, until later what it did. Um, Anyways, I want you guys to leave me some feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Here I am opening up other doors and seeing what we have in here. And I was like, man, this is pretty cool. It's like second, third time playing through, and I'm or third time playing through, and I'm already in like another room, and I'm trying to figure things out and wh what where things go are, and like there's another gun down there. I see all these terminals and stuff. There's system reboots. Um, obviously, because of the way that they've been with this, as and there's a, the AR right there. Be, be uh, because of the way this is like true to the original form, for the most part for zombies, I have to say that there there has to be an Easter egg involved with this um, 3D printer malfunction. I'm sure there's something there, um, and I don't know what this is. It says it requires the exosuit, so I don't know if that's an upgrade yet. I'm sure you guys can spoil everything for me, um, and, and hopefully I'll be able to spoil a lot of this stuff after I do this commentary and I can get some more games in. Uh, the downside is this, guys. Like I want to be able to bring you guys some dope games. Um, and just kind of informational stuff for those that don't have this and are just curious and seeing. And a lot of the stuff that you see, I don't know, there's some people that are good at, at doing tutorials from like the beginner level, but most of them are very advanced. And I know for myself, the, the, the one thing that I've been like really true to is creating like beginner tutorial guides for you guys and, and stuff like that and high round strategy guides after you see the beginning tutorial guys so it's kind of like an advance a slowly advancing sort of thing I want to continue to do that um, if possible with this depending on how much time I get now what I'm saying or what I was uh, saying is it's gonna be difficult because I am actually I'm going on vacation <laughs> uh, in in a day uh, I'll be in Hawaii on Friday so because of that I will not be playing this game, I'm gonna be relaxed on the beach, going snorkeling and eating amazing foods. But, <laughs> but, uh, but, man, as soon as I get back, though, I'm gonna be like, "Yep, I gotta get on this. I gotta check this out, and I need to uh, need to put some some time into this game because I definitely want to understand more about it uh, and just see what I'm missing. Because so far, so good, dudes. I'm super excited with the direction of uh, where this is going, and I don't know how many map packs we're gonna be getting, different zombie maps or whatever. If the story's gonna build on it on itself. Uh, I saw the trailer, but I don't, I don't remember everything about the trailer, um, so I don't really understand the, the full storyline. I do recognize that it's kind of like actors and stuff. Reminds me of Call of the Dead, which I loved. Uh, that was my number one video on my, my YouTube channel so far as the Call of the Dead stuff. I uh, ended up with like a million views on one of my tutorials for the Easter egg on that one. Uh, so I hope that I'll be uh, paying attention and trying to learn stuff. And uh, and here's uh, there's that gun spot back there. I, I just went right over top of it again I'm horrible I'm just like wasting money on like left and right I bet you if I upgraded that I would have got uh, I would have got uh, full ammo but uh, that just shows you right here what I'm doing I bought ammo then I'm upgrading it I like that you don't have to wait for the pack-a-punch part and then have them uh, go through all that painfulness and I wonder if you can upgrade it again I'm assuming you probably can that was an ask that I had a long time ago I thought it was something that was crucial uh, I like that uh, the the points and stuff are on the lower left hand side. You can see the, who the person is that you are. The round is on the upper uh, left hand corner. You can see that I'm just finishing round eight as it's flashing and going to round nine. I wish it was the same sound as the end of the rounds from Zombies uh, that we all know and love. It might be, maybe maybe it is, and I don't know because I have this, the the sound turned down when I played. Um, and this thing, this is where I figured out what that damn decontamination thing was. It says I'm infected. Oh, okay, so this makes sense. Now that I'm actually watching it, I can see. You can see that I have 50 seconds to be uh, um, uninfected, and or I can guarantee you, you die. So it's like 30 something seconds. I didn't realize how close I was probably uh, to dying here, um, and I just I'm just getting my ass handed to me, just getting smacked up. I wonder if this is why I probably get downed right here because I ran out of time. I didn't realize that. This is cool though to to watch this back and see because I thought I just got handled and I was like man I got how did those guys get me um, but that makes more sense now, now that I get that so that's what the decontamination is you have to go there and decontaminate and uh, when you get that uh, done then uh, you won't uh, be be green or whatever so um, that's kind of cool that they added it in 
uh, this downside is, is these guys are like just vicious. These these zombies are insane. When you go inside here, it actually acts as like a, a trap, and you can see it kills them as soon as they touch it. It doesn't last very long, as you can see right here, as they just smack me up. Uh, but uh, and then right here you can grab it. Now you can see I already used all three, so it it is three revives, um, and and then that's it. And then at the end of that round you ended up getting a. Uh, I'm assuming at the end of the round you get uh, an ammo, which is nice. And then I needed to deactivate uh, that again. So now, or um, I mean, uh, uninfect myself. So now I'm just running around. I made it to round ten. This is the first time I'm. I've made it here, and I still don't know what really what I'm doing. I've only opened a couple rooms. I'm assuming there's more rooms. Uh, I have to say that's one kind of like downside, I guess, in some sense, where you, it's really hard to tell what is a room and what is not. Uh, and it's kind of like living within the, the the constraints of a game. Like I can't go behind that wall behind me because that's a dead end. And like it would be cool if you could go down, or I don't know, maybe maybe that's a little too much. I probably could look at a map. Um, so it's staying kind of true to the way it is previously, but I would like a little bit like easier, uh, an, an easier idea of what the, uh, the what, what am I trying to say? An easier idea of, of where the actual doors are and stuff. And right here I thought I was dead. I was like, this is it for me. I'm hit like a thousand times. Red. I don't have any revives left. So I don't know where Juggernog is. I have 8,000 points and uh, so I'm th just spamming grenades. And uh, just trying to stay alive. In this area, I thought I was going to be able to try to train him out in the other area. That's kind of why I was out there. Just to see if it would be possible. Um, but it seems like this area inside here is, is probably easier to train them. Um, I don't know like the best areas yet. And again, this is, I'm just so fresh and new into this that uh, I won't be able to give any advice yet. This is really just the first pass. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more um, gameplays in. And then, uh, and then give you guys some sort of advice as I go. Um, and I might be able to even process some of the videos while I'm in Hawaii. Who knows? I mean, I, like, if, if my wife ends up going to bed early, I'm, I'm not going to be able to play any video games. So I might be inclined to actually stay up and uh, and do some commentary over some gameplays that I've uh, pre-recorded. So hopefully I'll get a couple in before I go. That keeps saying it requires an exosuit. And so what, what I ended up doing is I ended up getting to a point in this, as you'll see here coming up, that's... Uh, that's I end up not knowing how to get back. I end up just being lost. I opened enough doors at one time, and I didn't slowly progress through these doors. That I, it just made it like really painful. And part of me thinks that there's only certain areas that are like probably good to be stuck in, uh, because if you try to train in other areas, you might end up uh, with your pants down. Uh, I'm not really sure. I just I know that it can be difficult. This is one thing I noticed right here, though. You can see the red line, and so I was like, okay, power of the exosuit. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go follow this back and then turn that power on. Then you can see there's another upgrade gun here, and I wanted to do that. And then I was like, should I go do that? And I was like, nope, I'm getting hit by a zombie, so I'm not gonna do that. That is another power up, and then I'm following the signs, or I was following the signs, um, and then I went this way. But there was signs right here, so you can see it says exosuit that way. Um, so I'm just playing games with him and I'm just going to run up, try to figure out where the exosuit is. So I do get to the point where I get the exosuit and then after that I just, I have no idea where to go. The last zombie dies and then I am stranded and not knowing what the hell I'm doing. So, um, you can see that there was a power thing on the ground and I just am not knowing what the hell I'm doing. So you can see right over here, there's a power. Let me go ahead and flip it on. As soon as you power it on, you can see that the exosuit becomes available, which I think is awesome. I, I like the fact that they make it so you have to earn an exosuit. So it's just not given to you from the beginning. And it's free. I like that too. So it doesn't cost you points or anything. Uh, which makes sense. That's one thing that I never really did understand. Like buying a gun off the wall. Like why would you. It's like is it a vending machine? Why wouldn't you just get the gun for free? But but then again like why would a gun be on a wall? <laughs> like it doesn't really make sense. Like you should be able to just find guns or something like that. Um, through, the, through the maps. But. I mean, I like that, that they keep it somewhat the same since you know, or most people know zombies, or some people know zombies, so it kind of is uh, similar, you know, and I was trying to follow this one right here, and, and it led out to an area where I couldn't figure out how the hell to get out there. Um, I was trying to figure it out, but I, I was not uh, thinking too clearly when I was doing this, but I just ended up running in circles, and then I ended up eventually finding um, dudes. And there's, see, I, I, that's the outside of the wall. That's where I needed to go. I totally just ran past that. Um, 
And so, yeah, it, watching this back is hilarious because I know now what I didn't know then. I, I totally was going the wrong direction. I should have just kept following that, that red thing from that other side. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is when I realized I could double jump, and I was like, oh, snap. Definitely awesome you can do that. Um, I'm sure there's probably w places you can just <sighs> excuse me, run and jump up in the air. <laughs> run and jump up in the air and then just, like, hide or something. That would be awesome. But the zombies can jump, too, though, so I, I don't think it's, like, probably possible. Um, but anyway, this one's wrapping up at the end. It's a longer video, but I definitely wanted to give you guys kind of my two cents on the uh, the new Exo Zombies. I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't even know this was actually dropping or what day this actually did drop. I actually just downloaded it today because um, I got an email that said it was available finally. So I was like, oh. And then I looked and I was like, wait, so Zombies is available. I'm like, did I pay for your season pass? Because I honestly didn't even know. I, didn't, I honestly didn't remember if I did. And... Um, I paid for the season pass, so I was like, dude, I trying to figure out how to download it was a pain in the ass, but I finally figured it out. I have to go to the dashboard to download it um, after you hit your, that, that you want to download it. Because it says it's charging you 15 bucks, but it doesn't. Even if you have a uh, season pass, it just starts to download it. It's just a really jinky UI. But this isn't what I wanted. I wanted to find my way back out to where I was to figure out where to train these guys up. And instead, I'm stuck in here, not knowing where the hell I'm doing, thinking I could probably do this and not no really knowing what the hell's going on. And as a result, I ended up dying pretty easily. But um, I think that's the other thing. I was trying to exo jump over them, and uh, it was a bad, bad idea. And right here, I think I just get handled. And R.I.P. 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 Uh, all right, that's pretty much all we got. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys for some more videos, hopefully soon. Uh, and uh, it's fun to be back. Peace, guys.